Hey, welcome back. Tonight we are doing a blind flight. I'm really, really excited. A great supporter, patron of the channel, Bill, uh, WJK, great supporter of the Whiskey Tube community. He sent me a five-way blind, and we've got the answer key right here. I have no clue what they are. Uh, hopefully they are some good ones, and I'm sure they are because Bill, Bill sends good stuff. If you end up enjoying this video, please smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. Now, let's find out what we're drinking. Now, first up tonight, we have A, which is... Pursuit United Rye from 2022. This 108 proof delicious whiskey comes in with no age statement and a very unique mash bill. Next up, we have sample B, which is... Four Gates Port Perry Perry Batch 21. This eight year straight rye whiskey is finished in Australian tawny port cask and comes in at 112 proof. If that wasn't impressive enough, then we have C. Black and Willet, which they played music at until it was nice and mellow, comes in at 109.6 proof and averages 6.5 years old. And not to be outdone by that one, we have D. Found North Batch 3. This 17-year-old Canadian whiskey comes in at 110 proof. And did you know it's from Canada? Now, I don't know which one E is, but I bet it's super impressive, but it is. Smoke Wagon Experimental Rye. Ooh, that sounds exciting. Coming in at nine years age dated from Indiana at 117 proof. I do not know what I'm drinking tonight, but I'm very, very excited. They smell pretty good. Some of them look pretty dark. So let's uh, let's just dive right into it. On this one, I'm getting like a butterscotch and like some grassy notes, kind of like fresh grass, and, but it, but there's like this really interesting butterscotch sweetness underneath. A little bit of a musty barrel, like an aged musty barrel or an old musty barrel. It smells really, really nice, but it's got this really interesting character to it. It's really hard to place. I'm getting a very, very like tobacco up front and then it goes straight into this really, really nice caramel corn sweetness. A little bit of clove, a little bit of baking spices. The spice kind of builds at first and it kind of peaks and drops. It's got a nice mouth feel. The finish goes back to the butterscotch, but there's like a fresh clove to it, like a, a grassy clove thing going on. Not like clove spice, but like field of clover. Clover, that's what I'm thinking of. That really, like, it, it, it's not spicy in the front of your palate, but toward the back, as you swallow in your throat, it gives this really kind of a proof spiciness back there. But that counterbalances with the sweetness really well. That's, that's, a nice, that's a nice whiskey, nice bourbon or rye. I don't know what it is yet, but I think it's bourbon. We'll see. Now, this one, I'm getting much more strong earth notes. I'm getting kind of a, 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 a musty hay, some earth notes. Getting some vanilla, oak, almonds. Wow, that's got a lot of spice. Really hit me with a lot of spice, some effervescence on the back of my tongue. It's got this really nice toasted caramel sweetness with a fairly strong spice, like lots of baking spices, a little proof spice, a little brown sugar, really thick, viscous mouthfeel though. Really like chewy. Mmm, that's good. On this, I'm almost getting a little bit of like an alfalfa smell, like a field of alfalfa. Some musty barrel, some really old oak. There's a little bit of a uh, an apricot. This smells rather old. It's, it's dark, it's rich, but it definitely has an older kind of smell to it. We'll see. Wow. That is cherries and chocolate. There's a little bit of a medicinal cherry on it. But it, it really just goes to that cherry, chocolate cream. That is fantastic. That's really, really good. Great mouthfeel. Long finish. That cherry, uh, cherry, the cherry at the finish to me goes from cherry to blackberry. That's really good. I'm just saying, that's some pretty, some pretty tasty bourbon right there. On this one, I'm getting a, a musty barrel. A little bit of caramel, a little bit of vanilla. Faintly, but the age notes on this, I think, are really... The old barrel is really coming through on this one. There's this really, really nice kind of a mild butterscotch with a little caramel. No no proof spice or anything like that to speak of. Just very kind of a refined aged nose for sure. That is blueberries and honey with a little bit of spice. Great mouthfeel. That's really tasty. It's noticeably lighter than the other ones, but it has this really, really nice sweetness that I like. Ooh, great mouthfeel, 
very, very, very long and coaty mouthfeel and finish. And it goes to this really rich butterscotch at the finish. And it just stays as that really dark, dark butterscotch. That's These are fantastic, Bill. I don't know what you sent me yet, but let me just say thank you. On this one, I'm getting still getting a musty barrel, but there's really this really, really rich peanuttiness to it. A little bit of a peanut shell, but then also like a creamy peanut butter underneath. A little vanilla. I'm looking for any kind of fruitiness, any kind of fruit on there, or floral. And I'm not getting, I'm getting, I'm really just getting peanuts some, and some musty barrel and some age. Let's try it. Wow. Getting a lot of proof spice. Come through very nutty. A lot of uh, peanut notes. A little bit of, a little bit of proof burn on that one. Lots of caramel and uh, lots of caramel, some vanilla. There's like this little bit, you hit, get hit with the peanut and the caramel and some vanilla. And then there's this little spike. And that thing is, is kind of a fruity. It's almost just like a like a, a mixed fruit. I mean, it's not really, it's just fruity. It's not like a particular fruit. It's hard to explain. All right, in fifth place right here, fourth place, third place, second place, and first place. As I got more and more into these, I really feel like some of these might be rise. Some of them are either finished or really old or something because I'm definitely getting like some very interesting, um, like this has a, a really, really nice sweetness, some great characteristics about it, but it's got something, I can't put my finger on it, that it, I, it's fin I think it's finished in some way. This one, I, I, don't, I don't taste the finish to it, but I feel like that one is so dark and it, it, I think there's something going on with it, like a finish, but I can't pick up a finish of a particular kind. Um, the others, they're good. The, like, this was a great, great blind. I, I do think some ryes are in here. Um, I think this one's a rye, and I think this one's a rye. I'm not sure about this one, though. No, I think I think there I think there this might be a five way rye blind. Uh, I'm not positive. We'll see here in a second. But yeah, I think the top three I think are rye. Let me see. This is the only one I can't tell if it's a rye or not. These four I think are all rye. We'll see. Um, this one, if if it's not, I maybe a Knob Creek rye, because Knob Creek rye tend to be very kind of peanutty and still very bourbon like um so that could be something the more i drink this one i'm starting to get very much more of a grapiness to it um not sure where it's coming from but definitely get a lot more grape all right enough of it let's get the answers out let's figure out what we've been drinking all right bill's flight blind number two answer key all right so let me not read them let me just plop them down in the spots a so I'm guessing this is B, C, D, and E. In fifth place, which is A, we have Pursuit Spirits, Pursuit United Rye, 2022, no age statement, undisclosed mash bill, 108 proof. So yeah, that was uh, that's fifth place. In fourth place, we have E, which is Smoke Wagon Experimental Rye. The Most Char F Barrel, aged at nine years, coming in at 117 proof. Then in third place, we have Willet Blackened, Blackened Willet. In second place, we have Fourgate Port Perry Perry Batch 21. Um, and then in first place, we have Found North Batch 3. This is the holidays. We're doing festive rye blinds here on Whiskey Row. Found North came out on top. It had this delicious, delicious butterscotch and blueberry. Uh, thing going on, which I, blueberry and honey, which I thought was fantastic. Bill, thank you so much. I really, really enjoyed the blind. I really appreciate your support. The top three, though, these things were really, really good. I mean, you had the Port Perry batch. The Blackened Willet had a great, great experience, but the Found North just had this very kind of, for 120 proof, and that blueberry honey thing that was happening was so unique and interesting that I was just down with that. So overall, this was a great blind. I'm excited for some delicious rise over this holiday season. Thank you so much for all the support, for watching these videos, supporting Jamie into the new year. 
We appreciate you so much. Please smash that like button if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to the channel if you have not. Check out Beyond the Row for more content from Jamie and I. And until next time, find a bottle you love.